up, Wolfpackers? So today we're going to be doing a review on something the channel has never done before. It is not Marvel Legends, DC, Star Wars, or Legos, nor the things that you thought we were going to be doing today. It is Marvel Select Spider-Gwen. So <clears throat> it comes with a Gwen Stacy head mold. A hood for when the Gwen head is on her. A platform with a robot. I think it's supposed to be a junkyard. But the robot kind of reminds me of Iron Giant from Ready Player One. And the 1999 one. <clears throat> she comes with some interchangeable hands. And here is the front part of it. I just love that part. I just love how her logo is graffitied. And there's a diamond right there at the bottom. And it has her name right there with the Marvel Select right there. So, here's the side art. It kind of looks like animation style, I think. <clears throat> here's the back of it. And there's words. Pause if you want to see that. <clears throat> There's also a big picture of her standing on her platform and what she looks like out of the package. And there's also another picture of her with the Gwen head on her. And then there's two pictures of also available Marvel Selects. There's Daredevil and Spider-Man. There's some other logos, UPC, and stuff that a normal figure would have on their box. So, here's the bottom of it. I noticed that there's a tube in a triangular shape. Here's the top where the tube ends. So, now let's get the heck out of here and crack this thing open. Alright, guys. So, this is my very first time opening on camera. So, I think that the tube part pops open because there's those kind of things. So... Let's open it up. Okay, so we got that part off. Now, let's get inside. Oh, come on, I want the two. And here is a card. Let's put that down. And here's the platform. That looks very cool. And everything else. Very cool. Okay, so now we need a detailed review on the platform. So let's go. The platform kind of looks like it's in a junkyard because I see a lot of rocks. Some of them even look rusty. I think that might just be dirt. There's also some golden robot hands right there. Just grab them. Grab them rocks. There's a giant robot there. The robot kind of reminds me of the Iron Giant from Ready Player One. But it's a little bit different because he has like arms that look like axes. Because... <laughs> Actually, chainsaws, chainsaws. I just love it. I love how it's so detailed like a junkyard. I just love those golden eyes. <clears throat> so now moving on to our detailed review about Spider-Gwen. So, she comes with a lot of accessories. She comes with a Gwen Stacy head sculpt, a hood for when the Gwen Stacy head is on her, and interchangeable hands. So, they use tape to keep the accessories from falling out. That's just very good, Dom Select. I'll give you a shout out. Shout out! So, she's wearing a very cool costume. She has some cool pink parts on the side of her arm, although it's not like a dark pink. 
but there's a little bit of blue webbing there. There's still pink inside of her hood. I don't really think I see the blue webbing that much. It's kind of a dark pink on the hood when it's down. <clears throat> I can kind of see her belly button right there. <clears throat> but her costume kind of reminds me of Gwen. Um, like, it just reminds me of the symbiote crawling. So she also has the pink eye lining on her mask and some muscling on her legs and neck. I don't even know if that's the word and I don't care. She's wearing some blue slippers. Although in Spider-Verse they look like ballet slippers. So, on to the review. So guys, I also forgot about the card. So, the card says Marvel License Project Product. So you can read the other stuff by pausing it. And inside, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can buy. And even on the other side, there's a lot of cool figures. There's <clears throat> Spider-Man villains right there. I think that looks like Luke Cage. Deadpool. The villains and heroes. Uh... <clears throat> Doctor Strange and Marvel Heroes. Oh, there's Dazzler. I think that's the Disco Dazzler. So, here is some more on the other side. There's some Marvel Selects and statues. There's even Thanos' gauntlet. You can beat Thanos easily. <clears throat> Alright, guys. So, let's move into the articulation part. So, she has hip swivel. Like, it makes a very loud crack. Guys, want to see something cool that I didn't think that Mar that female figures could do in a million years? It's bicep swivel! So now female Marvel Selects can do it, but Marvel Legends can't. Well, the females can't. Only males can. Like, I can even do the bicep. <laughs> She can also do that 360. She also had head swivel all the way 360. <clears throat> she has up and down, side to side, and a different side to side. She has single jointed elbows, and her hand is kind of popping off. She can also rotate her hand 360. Also, her arm, which some people think that's disgusting, but I'm fine with it. She has double-jointed knees, ankle pivot, up and down, and side to side. <clears throat> so now let's move into the costume details and the face. So, <clears throat> she has a very bad paint wash on it, so like... What the heck is wrong with Marvel Select right now? Get it right next time. She has it there, 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 <clears throat> and on the shoes. Get it right next time. So, the front of it, where it's not paint washed that much, it's really fine. But, even the hair is paint washed from the black headband. Like, did they really try to make her look pretty? Because, they did not even do it a single bit, okay? Like, they just failed on the eyeshadow. That's what they just did. So, <clears throat> she can almost do the splits just look at that almost <clears throat> so now let's get into our comparison part so here we have four different things to compare the marvel legend <clears throat> marvel doll and Lego. 
Okay, so the doll, it has pink highlights, and she's wearing a different outfit with the black spider boots. And here's the costume, but guys, it does not come with any shoes. So yeah, you guessed it. She has to wear the boots all day and every day. So the Lego is kind of almost the same as the doll's costume because... Well, although it doesn't have the blue lining all over it, it doesn't come with the blue shoes. And, like, it also doesn't have, like, paint on the arms. But it still has the pink eye lining and on the mask. You are also free to go. Alright, guys, so it's the round you've been waiting for. Legend versus Select. Fight! Marvel Legend wins! Okay, so this one has very short hair. Not like how long that is. Girl, get down. Get your butt down. <clears throat> so she doesn't really have the horrible paint wash like on it. So, yeah, but she has the strappings on the ballet slippers. And her legs are just all blue. And she has the, ben the, the, the venom electricity on the back. <laughs> so, you are also free to go.